Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools channel. Don't you hate it when your tools or the metal around your house gets rusted for some reason? Guess what? You don't have to look too far. You got some things right in your kitchen that'll take care of it. Let's talk about it right after this. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you appreciate the content. All right, family, a while ago, I came across this right here. It's a 12-piece carving set. And uh, as you can tell right here, a couple of the pieces are missing. But even worse than that, look at how rusted they are. I mean, this stuff is pretty oxidized. I think this is the worst one right here. So let's talk about some ways we can get the rust off of your metal, off of your tools. Baking soda. Now, baking soda is a mild abrasive but you can remove rust with it, at least light rust. Okay, we're gonna pour our baking soda in. Then we're gonna mix it with water and we're gonna create a paste. I think I poured a little bit too much water. Be careful with that, guys. So now I gotta pour more baking soda in. So now that we have our baking soda paste ready, we're gonna take one of our rusty oxidized carving tools and we're gonna apply the paste to the tool. We're gonna to spread it all over this rusty area and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now you can take a cloth or a pad to spread the paste on the rusty areas, but since this is a very small area, I'm just gonna use the spoon right here to do it. A nice generous helping of baking soda paste. I'm not gonna worry about the other side of this chisel because if I flip it over, then this paste is gonna fall off. So if I wanna do that, I'd have to wait till I get the rust off of one side. We're gonna let that sit and we'll come back to it. Now, if the rust is really hard to get off, you can use hydrogen peroxide. Got your baking soda. Pour some hydrogen peroxide in there. Remember, not too much. I think I poured too much in again. Got another rusty carving tool. Take your pace. I'm gonna let this one sit. Okay, so this is our baking soda and water mix. So we're gonna see the results from this mixture. First, let's take our spoon and scrape off some of the excess baking soda that we have on here. Then we're gonna take an abrasive. I got this sandpaper pad right here. We're gonna scrub off the rust. Let's see how it goes. Okay, with that much scrubbing, this is what we have so far. What do you guys think? Okay, so this is our baking soda and hydrogen peroxide mix. It's been sitting for about 20 minutes or more. Let's see what the results are with this mixture. Scrape off the excess. Okay guys, here's another method. No, this is not water. This is white vinegar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna submerge this severely oxidized, rusted carving tool 
in this bottle of white vinegar and we're gonna let it sit overnight and we'll see what happens. That last one was just pure vinegar, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put vinegar plus a touch of salt to make it dissolve the rust even faster. We're gonna pour out some white vinegar in this glass here. Then we're gonna add our salt. That should do it, stick this in there. So we're gonna let this one sit overnight too and see how the acidic acid between the vinegar and the rust deal with each other. All right guys, it's just been a few minutes since these tools have been sitting in the vinegar solutions. As you can see, bubbles are all around the tools, the rusted parts. So what you're witnessing is a chemical reaction between the acidic nature of the vinegar and the rust. So you're actually witnessing the rust removal in real time. You can see how the vinegar is just chewing away at that rust. You can see the flakes of rust just floating around in there. And you can see how the vinegar is just peeling away at the rust on the tool on the right, just peeling it up off of there. No scrubbing necessary. See the flakes of rust just floating away. All right, here's another one, lemon juice. Lemon juice is also another good anti-rust ally. The aesthetic properties of lemon juice is good for taking that rust off as well. But guess what I'm gonna add to it? Some rock salt. Let's take our rusty tool here. All right guys, we got three more rusty tools to go and we're gonna leave them sitting overnight and see what happens. We're gonna do cola for the first one. You soda drinkers are gonna love this one. Got some root beer for the second one. We're gonna do some lemon juice. With some rock salt. Look at the rust on this one. We're gonna put this one in the cola. Look, it's fizzing up already. We're gonna put this one in the root beer. Look at that. Still reacting, look at that. And then this last one, we're gonna put in the lemon juice. Let that sit there. Look at that cola go. Root beer's fizzing up too, but not as aggressively as the cola. Our vinegar is still over there doing its thing too. That one on the left is the pure vinegar. One on the right is the vinegar with salt. Man, it's still going, look at it. That Coca-Cola is no joke, is it? Okay, so I got one more rusty tool out of the batch. What are we gonna do about it? Well, there's one other way to get rust off of your metal. A potato. First, we gotta cut it in half, but I'm gonna cut it in half the long way because this, you know, it's kind of long, so I'm gonna, you'll see what I mean. As it's not strange enough already, we're gonna take some dish soap and cover the cut section with it. I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on it. 
This is gonna be our abrasive. You can sprinkle baking soda on it as well. Matter of fact, just put a little bit of that on there. So here's our rusty tool. Let me know what you guys think about this one. See you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, it's definitely been close to 24 hours since we've had these tools sitting in these solutions. So let's take them out and see what the results are. This first one is the pure vinegar solution. So let's take out the tool. And as you can tell here, it just has a blackened appearance all over the tool. What's that about? Let's take our abrasive. All right, guys, I don't know if it's been sitting in the solution too long, but this blackened appearance seems to want to stay there. There's a dark film or soot that's still remaining on the tool itself, as you can see, even though I scrubbed it. Now that's called iron oxide two, also known as black oxide. Now, black oxide actually stops corrosion, but we want it to return to its original shiny metal color. So we're gonna have to rinse this in water. Now there's still somewhat of a dark tint to the metal here. That's because this probably sat in the vinegar too long and vinegar will continue to eat away at the metal. Though the vinegar got rid of the rust, that doesn't mean it stopped at the rust. So you may not wanna leave your tools in the vinegar too long. Okay, so this is our vinegar and salt mixture. And as you can tell, the black oxide formed on this one as well. So let's rinse it a little bit in the water. All right, so next up is the root beer. Let's see what happened with that. All right, next up is the cola. Let's see what happened with this. Okay, the cola did pretty good, but it's obviously it still struggled with this area right here. It's still kind of dark. Same with the root beer. It still left that those dark spots in there. That could have been because the oxidation was so deep, it got into the actual base metal. All right, now we got our lemon juice. Let's see how we do. Okay, I almost forgot, guys. There's one more item out of your kitchen that you can use to take that rust off aluminum foil. Here we got some rust over here on our tools. See that? I'm gonna take a strip of aluminum foil. Dip the foil in some water. And then just Okay, so you just saw a few ways to get rid of the rust on your tools or some metal that's around your house. Let me know what you think about them. Feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel. See you next time.